Bottom six, one nothing Giants, no outs. Bobby Abreu turns on that one. Over the wall is 19th home run of the year. The game is not hit at one. Still not at one. Top 10, Ed Vosberg to Marvin Bernard. Go away. Phillies get out of the jam with a strikeout. Bottom 10, no outs. Abreu facing Adam Fultz. Abreu is in the fulls and upright locked position to deep center Calvin Murray. Doy is the eject button on the glove. It's rolling around. Abreu thinks I've got a shot. He turns third. Here comes the relay and he's in there. A game winning inside the park home run. Phillies win it two to one. Bruce Chen one run two hits and a career high eight and two thirds. At one point he retired 14 straight. Vosberg gets his first one of the year. This is the first inside the park homer in extra innings for the Phils since May of 89. Slugging percentage in the league as well. Armando Reynosa to Mike Piazza. It's deep, but it's playable because you have Steve Finley out there, and Finley brings it back, robbing Piazza of extra bases. Bottom five, tied at one. Reynosa to Robin Ventura. It is deep, but it's playable because Steve Finley is roaming and brings it back, robbing Ventura of a home run. Finley single-handedly keeping the Diamondbacks in this game. Finds the wall and then finds the ball. That's up 2-1 in the eighth. It's Hampton facing Hanley Frias and getting the win. Next batter, Damian Miller. Hampton, eight innings, three hits, one run. Kurt Schilling can't watch. Diamondbacks trail 2-1 in the ninth. Tying run on, Armando Benitez, Greg Colbrin. He blows it right by Hampton. Gets his fourth straight win. Mets pick up the victory two to one. New York has won 24 of its last 33. Hampton wins his fourth straight, giving up three hits over 80s. Now, bottom of the second, four nothing A's. Long against Denny Nagel. Is there a better fielding third baseman than Scott Brocious? I think not. Bottom, moving to the top of the eight. Yankees trail 5 3. Two minute board, Tino Martinez. Terrence Long. Looks like he's got it, then puts the glove up, battle in the sun, and then can't come up with it. That would load the bases. One out, bases still loaded for Luis Soho. Soho. Eric Chavez. Not looking like Scott Brocious. David Justice, Jose Vizcayona score tied at five. Same inning, bases still loaded. Bernie Williams is pinch hitting. Now that we prove that the bases are loaded, Bernie, a little chopper to Miguel Tejada, trying for the inning ending double play. Williams beats it out. Martinez scores 6 5. Yankees. Terrence Long, not a great afternoon. It's been a bad month for the A's. Seven day on. And it's that happy reunion they went to play the Rangers again. Top second, Blue Jays down 1 0. Darren Fletcher off Rick Helling. Hello! To right is 14th. This game is tied at one. And we're just getting started. Top of the fourth, Darren Fletcher off Helling. I'm not picking on you, it's just my job. Another hanging curve, hung out to right field. Almost the exact same spot as 15th. Fans in there getting danger pay. It's now 3-1. Then later, Darren Fletcher. Stop me now. Three solo blasts, five Toronto home runs. Toronto leads the majors in home runs, and they win it 6-4. Fletcher, the ninth player in the majors this season to hit three in a game. Rick Helling allowed five homers. St. Louis trying to take one at the Ted. Speaking of rain, there was ducks and Here's the rain here one. over two hours. Top third, no score. Carlos Hernandez smacks it up the middle. Walt Weiss, great stop, gets Carlos at first. Hernandez later had to leave the game with a lower back strain. Top seven Braves up 2-1. Runners on first and second four. Lucido Polanco. Lines it to left center, it rolls to the wall. Ray Lankford and Mike Matheny both come in, and the cards jump on top three to two. Daryl Kyle had himself an afternoon. Bottom nine, he's got a 7-2 lead. His first pitch to Javi Lopez is fouled off. His second pitch to Javi Lopez, fly out to center. Jim Edmonds is there, one away. His third pitch to Brian Jordan. Brian Jordan cranks it to right. Two outs. A wonderful economy of pitches in the ninth. His fourth pitch, Reggie Sanders to center. Four pitches, gets the 15th victory of the year in his fourth complete game. Cards win at 7-2. First time they've won a season series against the Braves in six. Back to baseball, Reds and Marlins. Ken Griffey Jr. finding ways to help his team. Bottom second, no score. Rob Bell to Andy Fox. Andy Fox, Ken Griffey Jr. Unbelievable catch, full extension to make the play. 
Griffey also two for mm. four on the day, but that's a really, really good effort. Bottom nine, though, game tied at six. Mike Lowell at the plate. Danny Graves on the mound. Go home. Lowell wins the game with his 18th home run of the year. Marlins win at 7-6, so five RBI by Dante Bichette go to waste. Reds blow a three-run lead and fall below 500 for the season. ESPN, Chuck Finley back as the enemy. Bottom five, tied at four. Finley, Tim Salmon, Tim Salmon, mm -hmm. Chuck Finley. Timmy! Deep to left is 30 at the solo shot, 5-4 Angels. Thus, the Angels become the first team in AL history with four players with 30-plus homers. Top seven, 10-5, bases loaded for Robbie Alomar. Came in one for nine with the bases loaded. He's now just two for 10, but it's a great two. 15th, a grand slam, six career granny. It's within one, 10-9. Still top seven, two batters later, Manny Ramirez on second. David Segui comes up with a single to center. Manny Ramirez is coming home, although he apparently is not very, very enthused about it. Run harder. Great block in the plate, but Manny never really turned on the afterburners. The third runner thrown out at the plate for Cleveland in this game, and they lose by a single. Loosening up, top second, facing Paul Canerco, and that's not coming back. Deep to left, solo schmack is 15th of the year. Sox take a 1-0 lead. Top six, Carlos Lee at the plate. Score tied at one man on second. Lines it to Carlos Guillen off his glove. Tony Graffinino is waved home. A-Rod says, not today. Guns him out. Great play to end the inning. Joe Oliver's happy. A-Rod's happy. Top eight, Ray Durham at bat. Score tied at one. And apparently for Chicago, it was 15th home run of the season day. Solo shot to right field. His 15th home run of the season. And by those two home runs, the Sox go on to win two to one. For the second time in three days, the White Sox hold the M's to just four hits. Run, Kerry Wood. A little message to Alex Cora. The pitch does not hit him. It hits his bat. First pitch next inning, Ishmael Valdez up and in on Mark Grace. Home plate ump, Mark Wagner. It's going to warm both teams. Now that apparently wasn't good enough for Davey Johnson. He comes out to argue, and Davey is run. Later in the same at bat, Valdez, the former Cub, and he plunks Grace anyway. Valdez gets tossed. That's for Kerry Wood. Top 10. Tied at six. Jeff Branson in third. Two outs. Todd Van Poppel, the wild pitch. Branson scores. The ball did not hit Cora that time either. Dodgers win 7 6 in 10. Top second is first at bat. See, this is going to help. Off Dan Serafini. Off Serafini. Over Brian Giles. Helton cruising in with a double. He'd wind up scoring as part of a three run second inning for the Rocks. One rocks now in the fifth. Helton against Bronson Orojo, and Bronson has just been Helton. His 32nd homer of the year. Rockies go up 5-1. There's Brian Bohannon getting it done. Using the glove in the sixth. Mm -hmm. Snags the comebacker from Adrian Brown, then doubles off Emil Brown, so we can say it. Pittsburgh had a complete brownout. Bohannon complete game. Four hits, six strikeouts. Rocky win it 9-2. Helton two for four. He's Close up one nothing. Bases loaded. Jeff Rebele, comebacker. Wakefield throws home. The force out. But Pat Spire, he rules that Scott Hatterberg's foot was off the base. Safe all around. Wakefield and Hatterberg would argue the call, but of course, to no avail. You look at it again, and it looked like Hatterberg might have had reason to be upset. A Jermaine Dye, no doubt about this one. It's gone a two-run bomb, 31 on the year for the All-Star. Bottom five, more problems for the Red Sox. Mark Quinn, a little pop-up. Lou Merloni makes the grab, throws the cross to Diamond for the double play. Safe. And Mike Sweeney breaks home. Brian Dawbach's throw is wide. Error charge to Dawbach. Royals take a 7-1 lead. They would hold on to win it in American League fashion. 11-7, Royals split the four-game series. Dan Riker gets his fourth straight win. Has not lost since July 16th, which is... It's pretty good defense. One out for Rich Becker in the ninth. Hunter with the great grab. Second of two great catches on the day. Bottom nine. Runners at the corners for David Ortiz. Jose Macias will look home, goes to first. Midori coming, scores the tying run. We're knotted at six. Bottom ten, still tied. Two outs. It's Cummings. Twins win 7-6 on the base knock by Cummings. It's with Todd Jones' third blown save and 39 chances. The Twins now have...